Good morning. My name is Robert Oswald. I'm a professor of molecular medicine at Cornell University College of Veterinary Medicine. I thank the panel for allowing me to testify today. Uh, the shale gas controversy that has dominated our news for the last few years and has really brought more people to public meetings, such as town board meetings, than any other issue in recent years. I know it was brought me to my first town board meeting. We require energy to live in this world, but what degree of risk and environmental degradation are acceptable? Who, who should be asked to sacrifice and who should profit? We don't really pretend to know the answer to these questions, but like Governor Cuomo, we believe that science should prevail. Where we differ from Governor Cuomo is that we realize that the science that we need to understand this process has not been done and will not be done, to use his phrase, in months rather than years. So what are the most important questions? We know that engineers and geologists can extract these hydrocarbons. That's not the question. The remaining questions are not in the realm of engineers and geologists. They're questions of public health. The DEC has been curiously silent on questions of public health. It, with, real, with respect to hydraulic fracturing, other than just to dismiss it as something that other states with poor regulations have to deal with. But nothing can be further from the truth. We need to assess the public health impacts and we need to do it now before any type of permitting for high volume horizontal drilling could be permitted in New York State. Michelle Bamberger, who's to my right here, and I have been documenting the health effects of gas drilling in production and companion animals as well as humans. It's difficult to do controlled experiments in this area. It's hard to know cause and effect. But we have a num we've come close in a number of cases where we have cow herds dispersed into two pastures. Uh, one herd, or half the herd, has been exposed to wastewater or contaminated well water, and the other is unexposed. In the three cases that we've documented that this has happened, the cows exposed to the wastewater or contaminated well water have either died or experienced reproductive problems. The control herd, or the one not exposed, have been fine. They were originally the same herd. They were just separated for whatever reason that the farmer thought of at the time. Perhaps more importantly, the health effects that we see are not limited to animals. They're, they're also seen in their owners, in people. In fact, our evidence suggests that the, an important reason for studying animals is that the health effects of toxic chemicals uh, are actually first often seen in exposed animals, that animals are really good sentinels of human health. But the major finding, really, is that it, with the current state of affairs, we can't definitively assess the dangers of hydraulic fracturing. We desperately need a comprehensive health impact study, such as that uh, required by Senate Bill S-6772. We need to do pre adequate pre-drilling testing, both air and water. And I have to say the s guys is terribly inadequate. The pre-drilling testing that they mandate is almost laughable. We need to know the chemicals that are used in the drilling process in order to do that testing. We don't have that information and frac focus does not really give it to us. Uh, so we need to pass Senate bills S3483 S3483 and S2697A. And I just want to put in one other plug. I think we need to affirm home rule. We need to make sure that local communities have the right to zone out a drilling rig 150 feet from their churches, schools, and homes. Again, that's Senate, Senate Bill S-2697A and S-3472. All other forms of energy production, solar and wind, are controlled by zoning. This should also apply to gas drilling. But let's make sure Let's not lose sight of the fact that the most important health issue here is one that's almost completely ignored by the DEC and its S guys, and that's public health. Without rigorous scientific studies, the gas drilling boom sweeping the world will remain a, an uncontrolled health experiment on an enormous scale, and we will be the laboratory mice. Thank you.